What up, what up? Microphone check, one, two, three. Microphone check, one, two, three. It's your boy, Rob. Welcome to another episode of From My Experience. <laughs> Man, look. Um, going to try not to drag this one out too long. But uh, I was having a conversation with a friend. And... Um, hmm. Or a, a, as as she referred to herself, more than a friend. <sighs> tight, these yo, these titles, man. I swear, it's like these titles are very dangerous. I'm, I'm gonna forewarn y'all. Be very, very careful with your actions and your words. Giving people titles is very dangerous and very scary. And it, it, <laughs> You need to know what you need to be clear on definitions because like for me it's like either we're friends or we're not either we're in a relationship or we're not i guess the only in between thing i see is talking which is what people call is like hey i'm talking to this person i'm talking to that person meaning now nah, there's a potential for more but more than friends, friends with benefits, blah, blah, blah. Nah, not me. So I was having a conversation with this person who um, shall remain nameless. And we were talking and I was like, if I had a girlfriend, what would happen? Just wanted to see what she would say. I would, you know, I'm not even talking to anybody right now. Her response was, well, I'd say goodbye. You know, we couldn't be friends anymore. But I was like, so I would lose you as a friend. Now to preface this, this person and I, we have had relations <laughs> one time, um, a while ago, almost a year ago, right? me being transparent with y'all now she was like well because we're more than friends and I, and I get it you know more than friends means there's some feelings involved or whatever but you know me and this person we don't talk on the regular we just really started conversing again yesterday <laughs> so it's been about five six no yeah about five or six months so it's not someone I see on the regular not someone that even lives close to me well, just to preface that for those of you who are wondering. But we get into the conversation a little bit deeper. And she was like, well, if I was dating somebody, he can't have a friend that's just more than friends. And then, you know, I was like, well, what is more than friends? She was like, I was like, we're friends. And she was like, no, we're more than friends. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, okay, so what we did, you, you would do that. Is that how you treat all your friends? And I'm like, okay, here we go with the technicalities. Anyway, of course, the answer was no, I don't sleep with all my friends, but I'm not going to say that I haven't slept with some, but anyway, this is not about my life. This is about the topic of conversation. So from my experience with things, like I said, I don't, I don't really do the titles and all this in between stuff, but her argument was when someone's more than a friend, there's always a potential for that um that run back you know what i'm saying that person going back to that person or messing with that person again and i i didn't disagree with her i disagree with her uh i didn't didn't disagree with her point because that's true i disagreed with the way she went about it and the way she like basically demanded because from personal experience there's been people that i've messed with and that's all it was there was no there's nothing beyond that. There is no real feelings. There's no run back. None of that. Because I'm single, been single for a minute. If I wanted to run back, I would already ran back. I mean, we did what we did. We moved on. Because people do that all the time. And we're actually really good friends. That doesn't mean if I get a girlfriend, every girl that I've ever slept with in my past, or let me, let me rephrase that, any girl that I've slept with that I'm still friends with, I don't feel like I should have to automatically cut them off because I slept with them. You open up a can of worms when you do stuff like that because number one, 
all relationships, in, in, in my opinion, are slippery slopes. You know, and I, and I gave her this example. I said, let's say, because I'm older than her. So let's say 10 years ago, I was in my early 20s. Let's say I slept with someone in college. We slept, maybe we messed, messed around one or two times. And we just ended up being friends. Didn't take it any further. Never became my girlfriend. I never became a boyfriend. Strong friendship. Good friendship. Known her for up to over 10 years now. I meet a girl. We start talking. Things get a little further. We decide to be in a relationship. You mean to tell me this person I just met. Who may or may not continue to be in my life six months from now a year from now i should dump someone that's been in my life for 10 years over you just because you feel some type of way because i slept with them or because i slept with them that makes you uncomfortable so i should throw away a 10-year relationship because of something i did with this person 10 years ago when you come along and the po question i pose to her is okay let's say i do that and you and i break up is that fair to that friend how do i go back to that friend now, I do get the fact that, okay, if I keep that friend, then yeah, the relationship changes. You know, if you have good and decent friends and reliable friends and trustworthy friends and understanding friends and loving friends, obviously, you know, you got to flip the script. Like when I was in my re last relationship, I have a lot of close female friends, but I didn't call or text them as much. I would call and text them every once in a while. There were certain things we didn't talk about. I mean, it was just, you know, the relationship boundary is like, you know, they, they knew they couldn't mess with me or joke with me like they normally did because I'm now in a relationship, which some people may agree or disagree with. They feel like, oh, it should say the same. If she don't like it, she can get over it. Now nah, you got to have respect. You know, I do understand that you need to respect, you know, your mate's feelings. That's cool. So it, it, then she brought up the point where, well, you know, Again, that person could backtrack. I'd be uncomfortable with that. And no, that's not allowed. And you know what? I think a lot of people feel that way. But here's what you bring up. You bring up a point of... Because number one, he ain't got to tell you who he slept with. That's number one. Number two, he could always lie about it. It's not like y'all are going to sit around and say, Hey, all right, let's pull out a list and see who we slept with. And then you, what are you going to do? Cross-reference it with his phone? Or vice versa, cross-reference it with her phone. I, I told her this, and this is one of the philosophies that I live by. And it sounds crazy, but think about it deeply. Everyone on this planet, right now, right this second, whether I've met you or not. If I've already met you, then you've already been moved to a, a different category. But right now, everyone that I even haven't met on this planet has my trust. Here's what I mean, and, and, and let me take it, let me finish. <laughs> this is my philosophy. I trust everyone until they give me a reason not to. I'm gonna say that again. I trust everyone until they give me a reason not to. So, let me take it to the next step so y'all don't think that I'm crazy. That doesn't mean you know, I will give someone the keys in my car if they ask to drive it because I think they'll honestly bring my car back. I'm not stupid or crazy. But what it means is anyone that I engage into a meaningful relationship with, whether it be, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, or just a friendship, I'm going to go into it with an open mind and open trust. Yes, I've been lied to and all that stuff before, but I've learned enough in my in my life to be able to look at people and analyze things and say ah you know what i know that character trait mm, nah so you get moved to the other category of not necessarily distrust but all right i see how i gotta be with you or <laughs> better yet do i need to keep you around are you an asset or are you a liability so that's my logic with her you know if you know because i told her i said we all have a past um one of my close friends has a very very close friend of hers well i wouldn't say a close friend but a close friend of hers she's friends with the family the family loves her to death and she used to date um a guy the guy the guy she used to date she's real close with the family so they see each other time to time the guy's married has a whole family whatever so i wouldn't expect her to cut off that relationship because of me 
I think that's whack. But that's just me. But anyway, we went back and forth a little bit, and I was just trying to explain it to her, and she just wasn't feeling it. Um, and I just wanted to bring that up. Just wanted to bring that up and, and give you all something to think about. I would like some feedback from, you know, my listeners. Like, how do y'all feel about that? You're dating someone, um, and you want to know who they've dated, who they slept with. Would you truly be uncomfortable with them still remaining friends with someone that they slept with? So, I don't know. Well, I do know. Of course, there's a there's a degree of respect and stuff like there that there has to be a line. You know, there has to be a line. There has to be trust. You got to trust that person. You got to trust that that person won't do that. Because, I mean, in any relationship, you're putting yourself out there and there's always a chance that things can go wrong. You can't. There's, there you can't prevent that and one of my another one of my key models is a lot of people cheat because they put themselves in a position to you know if you're around single people um going to parties going to strip clubs whatever you know drinking with someone that you might have messed with before or hanging out with them alone at their house reminiscing on the good times you're putting yourself in a position to do something that you probably normally would not do that's what that's when people usually mess up and not just with cheating with anything a lot of times when we put ourselves in a position that you know to do something we do it so eh. those are my thoughts I, I just i'm not in the business of dumping my friends because you feel some type of way especially if i've done nothing or if you haven't seen anything to give you any justification you know i think a lot of people take the whole relationship thing too far too soon like if you're a girlfriend or boyfriend i do believe you get uh what's the word i'm looking for you do get benefits and privileges that no one else gets however you don't get get to kick in kick in the door and clear everything out like you swat either you know which is why again i i my my motto number one don't keep secrets Number two, don't lie because typically you're going to have to lie to cover up another lie to cover up another lie to cover up another lie. And eventually you're going to forget something to get caught. Um, number three, be upfront. I'm very upfront. Um, I mean, I'm like date one, two, or three. I'm very upfront. And 99% of the time, if somebody asks me a question, I'm going to give them the answer. I don't care what you ask me. As long as it's not something stupid like my social security number or something like that. But typically, if you ask me a question, I'm going to answer it. Now, I didn't say you were going to like the answer. And I'm not going to say anything, you know, to purposely upset you or to spite you. But don't ask a question that you don't want to know, know the answer to. Like, how many people have you slept with? And do you have any female friends? And have you slept with her? And do you still talk to her? And like... If you become, and that's another thing, if you become a detective, you try to investigate, hey, nah, can't do it. Can't do it. Because then my question becomes, why are you so distrusting in me? And people like to say, oh, I've been through this, been through that. Okay, that's your past experience. I'm the present. What is your, what is your past experience have to do with me? What sign have I shown you that you need to be weary or um cautious with me or hesitant with me other than the fact that i'm a man i was born this way <laughs> been a man all my life doesn't make me a liar doesn't make me a cheater and the other thing is this one thing in fellas and ladies you should separate separate yourself from your significant other's past by making them feel like no one else has ever made them feel that's a very difficult task and a very, very big feat, but you have to listen. You have to listen. You have to respond accordingly. Not saying you have to be fake with it, but you know, when your man talks, listen. When your woman talks, listen. Listen to those things and, and, and you got to coach yourself through it. Am I ready to deal with these problems or issues? Can I step up to the plate and do this? Is this something that I'm willing to deal with? Can I put their mind at ease about this? It takes time, work, effort, energy, all that good stuff. But that's stuff you need to think about. Because when people talk, a lot of people like to say, you know, oh, I was just joking or kidding. 
You got to read between the lines between those jokes. But I'm about to be off this. I just thought we that was an interesting conversation of quote unquote more than friends. So just because you slept with someone, you're y'all are more than friends, or because y'all explored an opportunity, y'all are more than friends. Uh, you know, even if you want to put that title, I think that definitely has an expiration date because sometimes you move past. Like the type of girl I was attracted to in my tw- early twenties is not the the type of women I'm attracted to now. Back then, it was a lot more physical. The mental meant something, um, but not as much as it does now, especially since I've had other relationships since then. Now, the mental damn near outweighs the physical. Yeah, it really does, actually. It, I'm not going to say damn near. It really does. You know, the, the physical to catch me. It used to, I'll put it like this. The physical used to, the mental was always the most important, but the physical would keep me distracted a bit longer and I was willing to put up with a bit more because you look so good. Now, because I realize my time is valuable, time is money. Um, I've set goals and dreams and things I'm trying to reach out here in these streets. And I realize that time I give to somebody else is taken away from that, then the mental will outweigh that. Because one thing you also gotta realize and think about, there's beautiful women everywhere. There's, you know, whatever kind of woman you think of there 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 there's i'm gonna just leave it at that there's beautiful women everywhere 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 women outnumber us however finding someone that is your mental equal or your mental match someone that can stimulate you mentally keep you involved mentally that is what's hard to find someone who has their head on their shoulders about their business someone that's gonna love you and support you that's who you need to latch on to does it help if they're attractive? Yeah. Of course you want them to be attractive. <laughs> of course you, you want to be attracted to the person that you're with. But I say all that to say this. You know, I don't talk myself. What was I about to say? Give me a second. Hold on. Brain fart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I say that to say this. The person that you're with, love them, respect them, respect their feelings. Um, The whole more than friends thing again has has definitely has an expiration date because once you've explored that opportunity you grow and you change you grow and you change and that person you might have been attracted to 10 years ago you know y'all may ended up cool but you might not even be attra- you might not even be attracted to that anymore that's the point i was trying to make you're not you're, you're not attracted to that anymore like that you know so I, I i put my i hold my friends in very high regard i don't call everyone a friend but I love my friends. I can fight on my friends. I talk to my friends a lot because your friends get you more so than your family sometimes. Ooh, excuse me. Get you more than more so than your family does sometimes because your friends aren't your family. <laughs> your family is gonna put you in a box. I was listening to the Breakfast Club the other day. Um, and they had the uh the directors from uh the Tupac movie on there. And one of the guys was like, you know, if you ask your, if someone interviews your mom and then tells your mom, you know, to describe you or talk about your life, you're going to get a story. If they go to your aunt, you're going to get a story. If you go, they go to your cousins, you're going to get a story. If they go to your friends, you're going to get a story. Whose story is wrong? Nobody's. Because they, all of them might know you, but they know you at different points in your life. Like my mom knows certain things about me but she doesn't really delve deep into other areas just like my aunts and uncles they know things about me don't delve deep in certain areas just like your friends they know typically your friends know the super raw truth about you the deepest darkest ugliest things typically it's it's, it's a few friends who know that type of stuff so again it brings me back to you know cutting them off for a a chance with you ah just because i slept with them mm, not good enough for me not good enough reason not good enough reason now they do something stupid or say something or offend my girl okay we can we all address that but yeah no nah. so i don't know i i don't think they i don't think that you know the person i had this discussion with in the beginning is wrong and I told them that I said, your perspective is not wrong, but I'm just giving you my perspective, which is different. 
I, I try to be open minded about a lot of things because everything isn't always black and white. There's some color in there. There's always areas of gray. But anyway, thank you all for listening. Thank you all for rocking with the show through the name changes. Um, well, not changes, but the name change. We are now, from my experience, as you know, um, if you are watching on YouTube, you can check us out on SoundCloud. We are from my experience. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to grab some water. Ah! Ah! On um, <laughs> SoundCloud, we are from my experience podcast. And um, if you are on SoundCloud, we are also on YouTube. So the show is from my experience because, I mean, literally, that's what it is. It, it's people talking to you from their experience and from their point of view and what they're experiencing. Um, so please comment, like, subscribe, share. Um, if you check the description below, you can email me. If you have questions or a topic or if you want to be on a show, I record via Skype so we can do a Skype session. Um, I got the software to record you and we can do a show, but I really want to get you all's feedback on that. Um, from my experience podcast at gmail.com. Huge shout out to one of my sponsors, Complete Vision Entertainment LLC for your DJ services and needs, whether it be birthdays, private parties, weddings, you can hit them up at complete vision, E N T at gmail.com. That is complete with a K vision, E N T at gmail.com they are serving the south carolina area primarily um shout out to thumb thrasher gaming love those guys over there as well um check them out on youtube they got crazy montage videos and some techie nerd overviews of all things gaming so check them out but anyway as usual, thank you all for listening. Oh, also join the Facebook group from my experience podcast. We're a Facebook group. Join, tell a friend, invite a friend, join the conversation. We need to talk about these things, man. Times are changing, people are changing, and the rules is different out here in these streets. I'm your host, Rob. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.